I'm here with Scott Nago, who is the Chief Elections Officer in the state of Hawaii, and uh, appreciate you coming to meet him, too. Thank you for taking the time. Thank you for having me. <laughs> this is a big year for you. Yes. And your office and staff. Yes. And every, our state. Every even um, numbered years, we do have an election, a primary in August and a general in November. So it, this is a, a, a gubernatorial election. So when we, when we talk about elections, it, it brings up a lot of emotions. Mm -hmm. Not all of them good okay. sometimes, uh, but some of us are very dedicated as yourself and your staff to ensuring that the community not only has access, but that they actually are motivated to go and vote. Yes. From the years that you've worked at the elections office uh, as a, a, a ballot keeper, <laughs> <laughs> okay. now to chief elections officer, what have you seen in terms of uh, inspiration, I guess, to vote? Well, one of the things I've, I've noticed in my, um, my career at the Office of Elections are the dedicated precinct officials, the ones that work in the polling places. Um, every year, you have the same people turn out. Um, they have to deal with voters. I mean, it's, they don't have to do it, but they do it because they, send, they have a sense of community or pride. They want to provide services to their fellow voters. Yes, and I know you said they deal with voters. Uh -huh. And, and, and from, from a perspective of being a voter, I love to go to the polling sites and, and be with the officials. Um, it's also it's a, a compensated position on election day. Yeah, we call it a stipended volunteer. So you, we don't pay you that much, but we give you an honorarium. So we, we, it's more of a volunteer position that gets a stipend. And students can do it too. Yes, students can. And we do rely heavily on students to help us um, fill the polls. They bring the energy to the precincts. When we talk about Hawaii having the lowest voter turnout, and our relationship has been a long time with kids voting, and we vote Hawaii, right. we worked with the young people. I don't believe that it's apathy that okay. holds people from voting. What's your perception of that? You know, we've provided the services. We've made it easier to register to vote. Uh, we made it easier to vote. There's numerous ways you can register. You can do it online now. You can do it when you renew your driver's license. Uh, voting, you can vote. You can get your ballot mailed to you. You can even register same day. Yes, you can even walk in on the polling place and register and vote. So, I mean, what it is, it's a, I think it's a bigger issue than just the election process. I think it's, it's something that it's not just the office that needs to solve it. It's candidates, the office, voters. It's something we all need to take, take part in to solve this issue. Well, and obviously this is your career, and so you feel very deeply about the privilege of voting and the oh. right to vote. Um, it makes a difference. Correct. Um, voting makes a difference. That's part of democracy. Well, and part of our community running the way it runs, right? Correct. It's your representation <laughs> um, with the legislature. Yes. So when we, when we look at educating the public, because there's still funds from a national pers uh, level you know, to educate. Correct. What does that look like from your perspective? Well, we want to make sure that people who want to vote know how to vote or what they got to do to register to vote. So we, we focus on the, um, the mechanisms of where and when to vote. Not, not so much why and who to vote for, but just making sure that people who want to vote know that this is the uh, services they can take advantage of. So what I hear you saying, because you do the what and when and how. Yes. That the why. The why. And who <laughs> are really the responsibility of other community organizations to work with you. Correct. And it's, I mean, it's, it's part candidates, part voters, because you want the voters to make informed, to vote um, and make informed decisions. So it, it really is voters, candidates that actually, you know, need to inform the voters. Do you think there's some fear involved in voting? Uh, I don't personally think so. I mean, like a, afraid of making a mistake or afraid of not knowing what to do or? Uh, there could be, but I don't think so. I mean, there's no wrong choice. It's your personal preference and who you want to vote for. And to, to get informed about it, right? Correct. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, we appreciate all that the Office of Elections is doing Thank and you. your staff is so dedicated. Um, good luck in this upcoming election. Thank you. We've been conversing very briefly with Scott Nago, who is the Hawaii State Chief Elections Officer. Appreciate you being with us.